The installation instructions herein are intended as a guide. Actual furnace design, condition, and or specifications may require modifications. Consult with plant supervisor. The Wika V-Pad is designed to measure temperature on the hottest side of the furnace tube. The MI cable must be attached to the cool side of the tube for protection. Care should be taken to route the thermocouple so that the cable is not exposed to direct flame. Do not use a wire brush. Grind down to bare metal. The thermocouple should be formed with a radius to form around the tube and route to the cool side of the tube. Verify that the radius matches the curvature of the tube. Locate the hot side of the furnace tube for proper thermocouple point location. Tube skin sensors can be mounted in either horizontal or vertical furnace. Ensure adequate wall thickness at the installation point. Remove scale and rust in an area 3 inches by 7 inches to install the V-pad. Remove scale and rust in an area 2 inches by 2 inches every 1 to 2 feet on the cool side for attachment of the weld clips to secure the MI cable. Follow best practice by routing the thermocouple prior to welding to ensure proper fit. Confirm that the proper amount of thermocouple length extends outside the furnace exit. If required, inspection personnel should examine and verify the prepared locations before welding is done. Have an assistant secure the V-pad temporarily in place. Secure the block in place using a chain clamp. Use a flashlight to ensure the block is firmly in place. No light should pass under the block. Do not lay the V-pad on its side. It must be vertical. It must also be in proper alignment with the length of the tube. Attach a digital indicator to the lead wires of the V-pad. Preheat the tube as required. All welding must be done with 1 16th inch weld rod and tungsten using a TIG process. Apply a tack weld at the nose and tail of the block on opposite sides. Remove the chain clamp if used. Apply first weld pass using 1 16th inch weld rod and tungsten. Monitor digital indicator. Temperature should not exceed 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Apply a second weld pass on the opposite side to ensure full penetration weld. Perform a dye penetrant test, if required. Complete the installation with one additional pass on each side. Again, do not exceed 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. Attach a weld clip to hold the cable to the tube just before the bend to the cool side. Form an expansion loop to allow tube movement in proper direction. This could be coils, omega loops, or S-bends as determined by the installation. Attach balance of weld clips on cool side to ensure good contact between the MI cable and the tube. Weld clips every 12 to 18 inches. Clips should not bind. Cable must be free to move. Be sure to route the MI cable so it follows best practices and does not pass through direct flame. Exit furnace with cable and lead wire and complete external installation. Assemble neck extension as per installation. Do not place compression fitting on the thermocouple transition.
Attach termination head as per installation. If included, ensure flame path is installed correctly. Attach lead wires to terminal block and complete installation. Expansion loops are not required when using a piston-style exit assembly. Pack the exit orifice with KO wool to keep outside connections cool. Route wire to termination head and tighten cord grip. Attach lead wires to terminal block and complete installation.